Hello and welcome, I'm JD and today I want to go through uh, one of the dev gallery posts about the upcoming uh, mixed missile salvos which will come with the next minor update. So this was posted on the 17th of July 2023, so if you've been in the Discord or you frequent the Discord a lot you've probably seen this but I'm catching up so um, this is also for the people who aren't in the Discord and don't pay attention or frequent there regularly uh, so you can have a look at this as well. So the new capability is all built around the VLS module. So if you are an OSB player, you're only going to be able to access it through the Acellos with the VLS module. Otherwise, Alliance players will be able to put these on any of their ship, or it just comes as part of the uh, integral part of the uh, VLS uh, modules. And it will allow you to mix different types of missiles uh, into a single salvo. So you'll be able to now fire different types of uh, missiles without having to plot one and fire it, and then plot a second route for a, a different type of missile and fire it, preventing both of the missiles hitting at the same time and having both of them subsequently destroyed because they're not supporting each other. The number of missiles in each salvo is going to be limited by the channel count, and we'll have a look at the, the graphic, which shows that a little bit down below. And uh, you can combine them in any ratios that you want. And you can see that the plus minus buttons there as well. So the developers are going to say you can even mix missiles with different programming times and the entire salvo will be held until the programming is complete for all of them, which I think addresses that first issue of some missiles being fired before the others and getting uh, subsequently destroyed because they're not being able to support each other. Now, I believe this also uh, works if you fire size 2 and size 3 or different uh, sizes of missiles, but don't hold me to that because I'm not 100% sure and I haven't fully tested uh, that out. But uh, once this gets released, I'll be able to confirm that for you uh, either way. So I think this is a great step uh, forward for missile gameplay, especially with Conquest coming up, because uh, one of the things that characterizes missile flights, in my eyes, is that you are going for uh, saturation, so high numbers of missiles, uh, generally cheap enough that uh, you can fire at long range and you just keep spamming the same type of missile over and over and over without uh, any really additional supporting modules or variation because you only are able to use so many and with VLSs you obviously only have so many so you want each of them to be able to uh, get through and saturate or each wave of missiles to get through saturate the enemy point defense network and then make contact with the enemy ship in order to get your points back by destroying the enemy. So supporting modules don't really get used a lot or the ability to have some for example which are maybe radar guided and some that are wake and then you know some that have a support module some that don't to ensure that you actually are able to get through the point defense uh, of the enemy fleet so let's have a look at the uh, how this will work in game so we've obviously opened this uh, on a track so we've right clicked on an enemy ship which is means we're firing on a track and we now have selected the VLS modules and it's presented us with all the missiles that we can choose from. Still fairly stock standard um, Nebulous Fleet Command missile gameplay. But now instead of just having all of the different missiles and the different types uh, and numbers and quantities, we now are presented with new uh, options. So we're able to add and remove missiles from a salvo and it tells us how many missiles we can put in each salvo. So down here, you can see that, that we have five channels. We've currently selected four missiles. So we've selected uh, the first one, the second one, the third one, the fourth one, and we can add one more by pressing on the green plus button. Or we can remove one of them by selecting the red minus. Now we can also um, add multiple of one. So we don't have to add one of each. We can obviously add three of the first type and two of the second type. Um, and that was discussed in that original post by the developers. Once you've selected all your missiles and you've created your salvo, let's say we've used, we add this fifth missile and we've got all five channels used. What it's gonna tell us is a few things. First, how many salvos with that possible configuration. So we can fire this configuration eight times uh, or likely seven because there's seven missiles here by the time we add it. It also tells us that once we've added all our missiles, then to fire the mix salvo, you just select click to begin targeting. And that's when it's going to launch um, based on that track. Or if you're doing positional fire, it'll bring up the sphere widget and you'll then be able to plot that path as normal. So that's a really quick way to be able to add multiple different types of missiles or to adjust. If we don't want to have this type uh, set up and we want to remove uh, one of these types and add one more just based on the way that the enemy point defense network is operating, then you can quickly do that 
fire it again and so then they'll all be able to queue at the same time launch at the same time and get to the target roughly around the same time you obviously have to be aware of a few things when you are using the uh, mixed salvo uh, functionality so for example uh, range is one you want to be able to make sure that missiles that you're firing either have the uh, same or similar range or you're just aware of which ones are longer and shorter uh, if you are positional firing you do have a sphere widget it should still tell you if one of the um missiles isn't going to reach its target i haven't tested that but i imagine that's how it would work and i imagine too that the other thing that you want to be able to uh, consider is speed there's no point firing uh, some thunderheads that are very very quick and then some that are very very short unless you want some to be able to get there ahead of time maybe you've added some support modules that buff their hp but your second and third ones which are actually a little bit slower are the ones that have the higher warhead damage so you may be able to play with that with the different speed because once they all come out at the same time they should ideally get to the target within a, maybe a second or two of each other depending on which vls they're coming from and the um, types of launch hot cold etc so i think that's going to allow for for a few different uh, new gameplay options as well as new builds for missiles and the way they interact maybe you do want to get a few cheaper ones with more support modules more flares or something like that uh, that we currently don't see because we are going for that saturation only uh, type um, gameplay and so I just wanted to uh, do a quick video on this. I don't know when this will actually come out. So just keep your eyes out for it. I will make a video uh, on this one because uh, I think it'll be pretty good. Uh, maybe I'll do an individual one for it as opposed to going for a deep dive into the update video that usually gets done. Maybe we'll do something um, as a mini, like a mini tutorial on this. All right, that's it from me. Thanks for watching and take care.